Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create customized mock-up photos in PowerPoint. The useful PowerPoint trick you will learn today is, let us say you have a photo like this where you can find a mobile phone but which is a blank one and you have another photo that looks like this, then you will learn how to combine both of them together to create this kind of a beautiful customized mock-up with your own photo. As you can see, this is the photo in the background and we have got a snapshot of the same photo right inside this mobile phone as well. You can use such a photo to communicate concepts like how to use your mobile phones to shoot professional quality videos or why you should communicate quite regularly with your team, etc. There are so many different concepts you can communicate using this beautiful mock-up design. And once you learn how to create this, then you can use the same idea to create mock-ups with customized photos right inside maybe a laptop photo or the photo of your PC or uh, any other kind of a monitor and your photos will look really interesting. The idea itself is fairly simple. First I'll show you where exactly I found this photo. If you go to pixabay.com which happens to be one of my favorite sites for public domain photos, I will leave a link to this particular photo here and when you click on that you would be able to go here. You pick up this mock-up photo so that you can work along with me. I then took another photo from pixabay.com. You can find any type of photo that you like and it all works quite nicely. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to create a custom shape. So I'm going to go to the Auto Shapes gallery. Under lines I find this tool called as Freeform Shape. So I'm going to click on that shape. I'm going to first zoom in slightly so that it's much easier for me to draw the whole mock-up quite nicely. And then I'm going to click on one corner and then another corner of the mobile phone screen. And then I'm going to click on another corner, another corner and another corner. Now this is a shape that we created which is exactly in line with the screen of the mobile phone. At any point of time you feel that there is some small change that you need to make, you can always right click on this, go to edit points and then move those black handles so that you can have the size and shape exactly the way you want. Once that is done, I'm going to click on this option called fit slide to current window. Then I'm going to select this photo here, right click and say copy. Now that puts this photo in the clipboard of the computer. Then I'm going to select this shape that I just drew. Right click, go to format shape, go to the fill option under shape options and then say picture or texture fill and then say insert picture from clipboard. Since we copied this, this picture is in the clipboard of the computer. When I went into insert picture from clipboard option, you can see that the same photo is now stuck on the shape that we drew. And now this mock-up photo is ready. So that is how you create customized mock-ups with your own photos in PowerPoint. Now talking about using photos in PowerPoint, I'm going to show you some creative alternatives taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. In case you don't know, Comprehensive All-in-One PowerPoint Bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any of your boring text-based slides into clear and compelling visual slides in a matter of minutes. The first example of using photos nicely inside our templates is this one, where you can see that this is a vector image. It is actually a picture. Then the rest of the stuff is drawn entirely inside PowerPoint and as a result we are able to communicate this idea of trying to cross the chasm. Another example of using photos inside our templates is this one. As you can see this is a vector image and these are the shapes that we drew and now we are able to communicate the concept of irrevocable bond. Another example is this one where we talk about two types of preparation for goal achievement. The first type is this one, which is an ineffective preparation to achieve target. And then we talk about the right and strategic way 
to reach your targets. If you have to add custom animation to take the same idea to the next level, here we talk about choosing the right tools to achieve the target. First we talk about the ineffective tool and then what happens in this case. As you can see since it is not the right tool to achieve the target, you can see that it has flown away. The right tool is this one. And here you talk about the tool a bit more in detail and then we show how the right tool helps you achieve the target. So once you learn how to combine the shapes you create with vector images, then you can communicate a whole bunch of very interesting concepts using the power of PowerPoint. And all these are readily available for you in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. No matter what ideas you have in your mind, you will find a template in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle to help you communicate those ideas in clear and compelling way. I will leave a link to comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle in the description box below the video. Please click on the link and find more about this useful product. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, then please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will be the first to know if we introduce any new product, you will be the first one to get our free giveaways and you will be the first one to receive free email courses which we create from time to time and more importantly, we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers. So please click on the link, join Success by PowerPoint and take your PowerPoint skills to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.